Geneva Overholzer has fought for more user participation in journalism her whole professional life. At the Washington Post, she worked at the interface between the newsroom and the readers. Now she does research about new interactive ways of mediating information through the web. In her view, journalists should integrate their audience into the process of news gathering. I'm deeply worried about that. The economic model has collapsed. It's not fading away. It's remarkable the speed with which the economic model for journalism in this country has collapsed. It's always been even truer here than in Germany, for example, that the advertising has paid for a huge proportion of the revenue, 80 percent typically here, I think more like 60 percent in Germany from what I've been told. So 80 percent from advertising which is collapsing. I mean, it isn't working for advertisers anymore. And even more chillingly, we have yet to discover the advertising model for serious journalism online. So we're confronted with a really scary um, future that we share with other creators of content, which essentially comes down to how are we going to pay for the creation of content. I believe we'll find out ways to do it. I don't think it'll be one way. I think it could be a number of different ways we could talk about. Um, but in the meantime, a lot of people talk about this as a gray period we're going to go through before we figure out all the ways. I actually don't think it's a gray period. I think it's, a, I jokingly call it a rosy fingered dawn. <laughs> I think we'll find products, just as um, music found the iPod, it didn't solve all of its problems, but it solved some. We'll find products. People are thinking about e-readers like Kindle. Um, Rupert Murdoch is thinking that he might want to develop his own and then sell it with the Wall Street Journal. I don't think we should yet declare that it's a mistake to put some information behind the paywall. We've seen that it can work, especially for deep and um, specific kinds of information that are highly sought after. So some people will succeed in, in getting their journalism paid for because people want it, business people want it. Or, people in a given community who are underserved in other ways want it. Well, it's really a very good question why we need journalists anymore. Many people would argue we don't, and I would agree that an awful lot is happening in the journalism world that says the role of journalists certainly is going to change. I don't think we yet see a time when there's no need at all. And the need I see uh, is for many different things, probably going by different names than we've had in the past. A curating role, an aggregating role. You know, who was it recently who said even communities need leaders? So I think there are going to be a lot of roles for journalists, but they're changing. No question about that. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a blessing, but I do see the benefits that are coming to us from this crisis. You know, it wasn't the Rahm Emanuel of the first one to say, uh, don't, uh, crisis is a terrible thing to waste, but it is a terrible thing to waste. And as a society, we in the U.S. are seeing some benefits of the overall economic crisis, like pulling back from the absurd size of houses and cars and, and profligate use of energy. And similarly, I think we as a field in journalism are seeing very real benefits from this disruption. So, I mean, I very much welcome the democratization of journalism in this country. I've been in journalism for 40 years, and I think one of the main flaws always has been the top-down kind of, um, you know, almost overwhelmingly white, almost overwhelmingly male, wealthy, well-educated, that's who the media have been here. And that is not this society. I mean, look at the city that I live in now, Los Angeles. It's a remarkably vibrant place full of all kinds of people from all over the world who wouldn't even have been represented in legacy newspapers at what we are now thinking, so many of us, of as their golden era. <laughs> Well, I 
think it's entirely possible that newspaper journalists will have vanished in 20 or 40 years, newspaper journalists as we know them. And I'm not one to say, oh God, you know, it would be the utter tragedy and the death of democracy or American society as we know it. But I'm not ready, I mean, I'm not ready to say that it would be the death of American society because I don't even think we can yet see all the good things that are coming up out of this fertile terrain that is new media. And we already do see a lot of ways in which we are uh, enriching journalism in this society. And, I mean, lots of people in the public are doing it, but many news organizations have been the real driving force. I, I guess that we can see that that's going to become sort of a pro-am model, professional and amateur. But I guess what I'm saying is I'm encouraged, but not yet ready to say, you know, who needs professional journalists? as we have known them, and I'm certainly not ready to say who needs journalists, period. I believe we're going to have journalists. Their roles are, as we've discussed, going to change. If I thought the journalistic identity were worthless, would I be running a journalism school? <laughs> Many people do think, what the hell are you doing running a journalism school? I completely believe that journalists will continue to play really important roles. But I have to say, I also think we need to recognize that it isn't going to be only people called journalists who supply information in the public interest. We've got NGOs, non-governmental organizations, that are providing information in the public interest. Human Rights Watch has 80 people all around the world collecting terribly important information. Um, the Council on Foreign Relations has some of the most interesting, you know, if you go there and look at their timeline on Middle East conflict, it's a very educational, informative outlet. I don't care if I call them journalists. If my graduates go out and work for organizations like this, I will think that they are well trained in journalistic values. Fairness, proportionality, all the things we think of that make up a journalist. So, you know, I think journalists are going to be performing a lot of the same roles they have performed because I think legacy media will continue to exist in some formats and be reborn on the web. But I think they also are going to be working as curators and aggregators, as we said. And I think they're going to be go going forth and working in governments and nonprofits to help provide the public with information and to work with the public to guarantee the continued flow of information. So I think the role is huge. People are more interested in, in getting this information than ever. And they're more interested in participating with the creation of journalism. And all of those venues need leaders. And we're training those leaders here. And we have fascinating young people who have decided this is a great moment for journalism and we're going through a renaissance, which I think is entirely true, although you could also call it a revolution. <laughs> The biggest challenge I face is persuading members of the public that it makes sense to come to a journalism school now. I mean, you know, Jane and John go to mom and dad and say, oh, I want to be a journalist. And they go, what? You know, I'm just reading here in my newspaper that it's over. So that's the biggest challenge I face. Once they're here, I don't think the challenge is difficult to confront. We want our graduates to emerge, and we are giving them this, with a strong sense of multi-platform storytelling of working with people to do the journalism, of entrepreneurialism, because they have to go forth and worry about how you assemble an audience and where people are, where their interest lies. Um, they have to worry about how they're going to sustain themselves. So how are, what are the new economic models? But we also continue to teach them the enduring values of journalism and the ethic ethical underpinnings and historic, an understanding of journalism historically and the law of journalism. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, I enjoyed it. You were great. Thank really. you. I loved it. It was uh, my, you know, my topic. <laughs> okay. It was great to meet you.